Happy and healthy altitudes to you. Hello, I'm Gary Giannetti and I'm coming to you from Healthy Altitudes, Colorado. Today I've got a couple tips for those cardiovascular athletes, for those ninja warrior athletes, for those climbers, for the people who want to develop that upper body strength, right? You want to get those arms strong after your run, after your bike ride, after you get on a treadmill or a, an indoor bike. What can you do that's real simple, very efficient, and very effective to build that upper body strength? Pull-ups. So, there's a couple things you can do to improve your pull-up strength. Um, I just finished a run, so I always like to, when I come in after a run, I grab some straps, and there's a couple things you can do. You can get some stretches in here where you can round out your back just a little bit and pull on that strap and it makes your latissimus dorsi and your back muscles get a nice stretch. So that's a really fun one. Um, but if you can't do regular pull-ups on a pull-up bar, get some straps, mount them to your ceiling. Sometimes you can mount them in the door and you can do pull-ups with the straps, just like that. And the harder you want to make it, you just move your feet forward. If you want to make it easier, you just move yourself up and you can move up and have fun while you get it done. You can throw in some bicep curls by bringing the straps up high. You can get some bicep curls. All different exercises you can do with these straps. So those are some fun ways that you can use straps to work up to regular pull-ups. Start with some manageable sets, maybe 15 to 20 repetitions with the straps, working up to regular pull-ups on a bar like this. So, if you can't do a regular pull-up on a bar, you can also buy some helper straps that look like this, and you simply just wrap it around the bar, double it through like this, put a lot of strength into it, and put your foot in. And it'll give you a good boost. I mean, you could really get a good boost and do these pull-ups with the strap and it makes it a lot easier to get those pull-ups in if you're not fully ready to do them unassisted. All right, so these straps are fantastic. They travel well, they're really light, they're really easy to use. They go on almost any pull-up bar very easily. Very versatile, worth the investment. Um, you can also use a strap to do the same bicep curls, right? So this is like having a resistance band to work on your bicep curls. Other muscles you might use when you're doing a pull-up are your back muscles. Like I talked about, the latissimus dorsi, rhomboids, rear deltoids. This rowing movement is something else you can do to build up your strength for pull-ups. So there's a few different exercises that will help you work your way up to regular pull-ups on a pull-up bar. If you're already doing regular pull-ups on a pull-up bar, these exercises are still a good supplement or using the straps as a supplement as well. Now, if you have a pull-up bar, practicing some different ways to do pull-ups are very beneficial to hit the different muscles in your back. I won't get into too much of the science here, but if you can start with a close grip, you're gonna work the muscles further in the middle of your back, the closer muscles. The wider you go, the wider the muscles are gonna be that you work on your back, working out. So you wanna do some stuff with middle, little close grip, middle grip, wide grip, real wide grip, bicep grip. So you might say, okay, I'm gonna do five inside, five pull-ups inside, right? And then as you're doing those five, Come back down, you can either put your feet down, switch to the next grip, do five more, right? And then as you do those, you switch and get five more going wide. Working the pull-up bar from the different angles that you have on the bar, okay? So there's one theory of how you can work your pull-ups. That's an easy way to reach fatigue through your back, changing from inside, going to the outside. Another cool way you can do it is instead of just doing bicep curls with weights or a band, do them with your pull-up bar, 
bring your palms in and pull up. If you want to engage your core more, just bring your feet forward and pull up that way. Engage your core, okay? So you can engage your abdominals and the back to help stabilize your abdominals. Some fun ways to do pull-ups. Now, if you're up for the challenge, here's another variation. All you do, grab the bar, pull up to the left, rotate, come down on the right. So it looks like this, up, around, and down. Other way, up, around, and down. And you can alternate making circles with your pull-up. That's a really great way to work your arms and the shoulder muscles to become more stable, especially if you're a climber, exposing yourself up high, or a ninja warrior athlete, exposing yourself up high. We wanna to try to get all the pulling movements, and as we do those pulling movements, we pinch the shoulder blades back, thinking about our shoulder blades. So there's some that you can do for pull-ups. Other things, if you are a climber or a ninja warrior athlete, practicing the old one-hand peg to see if you can hang, but engaging your back. So you're not just hanging, you're actually using those muscles to pull up a little bit. Switch to the other side and do the same thing. So you're using your muscles. You're not down here like a monkey. We're actually engaging those muscles up. If you drop, you're taking the stress out of the muscle. You're just letting it hang on your joint. So we want to try to use the muscles to get them stronger. There's a few tips on how to work the pull-up bar. Hope that that helps you build your strength to be a better climber, stronger runner, or cyclist, because when you run and ride, you're leaning forward, and we want to be able to pull those shoulder blades back so we can stay nice and strong. Or, the new one is Ninja Warrior. There's a lot of ninja athletes out there, obstacle course racers, who do pull-ups in the race or in the competition, or at the climbing gym, or at the ninja gym. Pull-ups, great exercise, total upper body exercise, right up there with push-ups. And that'll be another video to stay tuned on. So if you like today's quick snippet about pull-ups, subscribe to the YouTube video and you'll get to see some with push-ups and some other fitness exercises, other things to be active, eat well, and stay happy, not just for YouTube or a social media post, but for your life. Again, I'm Gary, thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you can get stronger for your life. Be well.